The Belia wetlands are an oasis in the south metropolitan area of Perth and are an important Aboriginal heritage site. They are also a bush forever site and are home to the endangered Carnaby's black cockatoo and a range of other threatened species, including the graceful sun moth. They are a vital green space to break up the sprawl of suburbia and are a haven for cyclists, bird watchers and joggers. However, the Belia wetlands are under threat. The proposed Row 8 highway extension threatens to cut a giant swathe through the wetlands, severing ecological linkages and damaging the unique hydrology of the area. The Row 8 will have a devastating impact on the area. The North Lake Reserve is one of our few wetlands that includes four wetlands within the system and connecting bushland in between. Most of our wetlands you have a single wetland with a road around it. You're lucky if you have some connecting bushland. This one is quite unique in having all of that intact within the system. Wetlands are special places for many people. They're symbolic of the richness of life and the richness of biodiversity. And when they disappear, that's a major loss to the biophysical landscape. And I think it's also a major loss to our mental landscape. So I think the situation we're in with the Belia wetlands is that a state government have made a decision that wetlands are expendable. And this is something that needs to be contested. We need to assert as much as we possibly can the value of wetlands, not just from an ecological perspective, but also from cultural, social, aesthetic and other perspectives as well. And it's interesting that the current state government in Western Australia is spending money to support immersion of children in nature, but at the same time is doing its very best to destroy the very nature that children can be immersed in. So that contradiction has to be overcome, and I believe that it should be overcome on the side of the preservation of wetlands, not in the destruction of wetlands for meaningless freeways. The proponents of the project, South Metro Connect, argue that the road will help ease congestion along the Leach Highway. Unfortunately, they refuse to be interviewed for this documentary. It's now part of a general hubbub that has been created in a very marginal seat that has a lot of trucks going to the port. And this is seen to somehow take the pressure off one area and put it onto another area. But in fact, it's longer for the trucks to do this and it's most unlikely that any of them will use this route. It was on the books for various elections, it was part of the Eastern Bypass debate and all of that. And at every point we would say, this road doesn't go anywhere. It still doesn't go anywhere. Why would we build a road to nowhere? The proposed Row 8 extension would destroy 78 hectares of Carnaby's black cockatoo habitat. Carnaby cockatoos are severely threatened. I believe in the next 15 to 20 years we're lucky to see any flying around at all. They've actually only looked at that particular site. They haven't looked at the fact that they've knocked all the bank shears out of Janicot Airport. We're finding a lot of dead cockatoos in the Janicot area. Because what we've done is we've taken out the green belts and these birds have to jump over metropolitan areas to get into these areas. But we're finding it's a huge jump now because they're actually flying into Janicot hoping there's food and water there. Well, there's definitely no food there, there's no water in there, and there's nowhere else for them to go. So the youngs are being left behind just to die. But with row 8, we're finding that there's actually red tailed nassos in there at the moment that's starting to fly in there. And the reason they're doing this is because there's nowhere else for these guys to feed. If you take out the row 8 extension, you're going to take out all these cockatoos in the southern part of the metropolitan area. And in fact, you'll take a lot of the northern ones out as well because they come down here to feed as well. I'd say within 50 years these guys won't be gone, they'll be gone.